What's up guys, Jacob Rothenberg here, bringing to you a brand new video on Amazon slash Kindle self-publishing. What we're going to do today is uh, search for keywords in this approximately give or take 30 minute session where I simply, in front of you, look for keywords. This is unscripted, one take, no editing. Uh, we'll just look for keywords in the next 30 minutes. I'll show you how I look for keywords using some basic methods and uh, hopefully I can also find profitable keywords for you and assess why they're profitable and why we would publish books in them. Or likewise, we can look at keywords that may not be profitable and I'll explain why that might be as well. So uh, without further ado, I'll start on the search. So we are on Amazon.com um, right now. Um, off the bat, I don't have ideas for keywords, so what I'm going to do is simply go to Google Trends to get my brain to jump started. Maybe we'll get keyword ideas as this video proceeds on, but right now I am kind of blank. So um, we, we covered the World Cup prior, I don't want to touch these topics for this video. Uh, we might find something we might not, so this can go either spectacularly well and find you lots of keywords for free on this video, or this could be a total... Uh, shit show. So we will find out soon. Um, so I, I unfortunately Kate Spade did commit suicide. Um, I don't know what really drove her to do that, but uh, that gives me an idea. I'm gonna look up. Well, let's type in suicide. I know it's a dark topic, but it's a, a facet of self help that can potentially find us. Um, maybe a sector to publish for within the topic um suicide books for for how about for teens suicide books for teens so we as we can tell very quickly that this is already a populated competitor dense keyword um lots of entries here thus far um, no one seems to be completely taking over, right when I say that, this book comes up with over 4,000 reviews. So let's take a quick look at how this is ranked, 930 from 2011. And what's this book about? just want to make sure. Teen and Young Adult Suicide Fiction. Okay. And if I take a quick look at the other books, um, I don't think we'll really have a chance on this one. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen on this one, guys. So I'll explain why in a bit. As I'm scanning through books manually, I am not using KDP Rocket, KDP Spy, or any third-party software for this video. I'm simply looking at the books manually, assessing them, and I'll give my reasons why I would not publish a book for this keyword. Although it might be obvious to you guys, for some others who are just tuning in, Learning how to publish books, it might not be. So let me just search for a bit. Yeah. Okay. So, why I wouldn't publish for this keyword uh, suicide books for teens um, in the nonfiction sector. That should be a given. This is a facet of self help, a very competitive niche in of its own. Um, this seems to be taken up already by books that are formidable um, for the topic. So, Lots of legitimate, organic reviews associated with each book. Um, it would be hard to get anywhere near the, these books in terms of um, reviews and ranking and getting ranked along with them. Uh, likewise, we do have some stranglers that are lower on the page with a lot of reviews. Uh, hold on, this music's really distracting. Let me just turn it off. There we go. <laughs> so. I wouldn't publish for it for that reason alone. It, it's just not going to. We're not going to be producing a compelling enough book that gets us to the top. And honestly, this this keyword doesn't sell that well. I mean, it sells okay for the books that do rank at the top. Yeah, but uh, if we were like down here, let's say we ended up on page two, theoretically. Um, it's going to be a little bit hard to get on here. 
And a lot of these people are actual published books made by publishing houses. Okay, I have to take back what I said a little bit. It, it is profitable, but not for you. You would need ammunition to get into this topic and be able to produce a book that has the marketing ability to even penetrate for this keyword. So I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, um, leave a comment below and I'll give you more of an explanation as to why we wouldn't publish for this topic. Otherwise, we'll keep going. <clears throat> so let's see here. Life on Mars. That would probably be a fiction facet if I looked into that. I'm not really compelled to look into that keyword. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Nothing's really coming up here as keywords we wanna would want to look for. So if if you don't know how to use Google Trends, I do have a video from a few days ago on how to use it. You definitely want to check that out in case you want to understand what I'm doing. Okay, legalization of cannabis. I already know that marijuana is a very saturated keyword for for books. There's a lot of competition there. Won't even want to touch that right now. Um, hmm. Oh, drones. Okay, let's try this out. Um, yeah, it's not going to be attack drones or anything used for war. Let's think. Of, uh, they're in the form of toys, also for kids. So, I mean, being the person I am at age 30, I find them a little bit sophisticated to use. Whether they are or actually not, I don't know. But maybe you need a guide for how to use drones. So let's look up drone guides for kids or drones books for kids. Drone books for and guides because it came up. I didn't do a search for kids because I think this will be general enough and not have that much competition. Uh, so let's take a look. This is a pretty popular book. So, eh, it's okay, I guess. First book does okay. Ooh, it's, that's not related to the topic, but that is interesting. Here's a more traditional book. The Complete Guide to Drones with Photographs Inside. Does, it does better. 144 pages, full color with pictures. Something you'd have to compete against with a lot of money in your budget for content and full color photographs along with formatting. If we went one versus one with against that book, this looks more like a self-published title. I can, I can just feel it right away. So this one is self-published with a, with a good, good sales going on. You can tell, um, how I was able to tell that this is a self-published book, number one, the cover is okay. It's not great. It looks cheap. Once you have experience with looking at book covers over and over, a, a good cover, even if it's simple like this one, is so much better than something droll like this grayscale cover with some stock looking um, text formatting for its template. So. Along with that, I mean, there's keyword stuff in here. It's so obvious. But that being said, it does it does well for paperback. And let's just for the hell of it look at the uh, look at the Kindle version. And it doesn't sell so well on Kindle, but it sells decently on paperback. So the photographer's guide to drones. I like this spin on it. So other than a toy, obviously. Photographers and videographers are now using drones to record and capture content. So this one's not just now a general guide for dr how to use drones. It's the photographer's guide on how to use drones. Therefore, it's more relevant to a certain sub-niche, which is probably going to come back. Without even looking at the rankings, I'm going to predict this has a ranking of around 100, 250,000. Yeah, see, I was on the money. 100,000 right there. 100,000, like it sells pretty well. Damn, I'm good. All right, so yeah, you've got these beautiful full color pictures. Oh my God. Let's, like, let's just take a break here, guys. Take a look. Let's get in on this shit. Beautiful. Yeah. Mmm. I like it. That's so, this is so cool. 
And for it's actually it's obviously uh, mar- set up and written for photographers with not only um, all of the I suppose commands and mechanics related to flying a drone, but also the um, aspects of photography you have to consider uh, along with recording and capturing pictures with the drone. So really cool stuff. If you're a drone fanatic and you're watching this, this could be something that you would want to try to compete against. Um, that being said, you're going to need beautiful content, full color pictures, high resolution, um, and uh, just have an overall kick-ass book with some with some effort put into it. This book lists for forty dollars. It's being sold at twenty-seven, but the the author, the publisher rather makes the royalties off of $40. That being said, it's a full color book of 240 pages. So it's it's honestly hard for me to assess how much this book makes per royalty. Uh, I would ballpark roughly probably between 10 and $15 um, if I am on the money with estimating the number of pages, the number of um, how much it costs to produce this book basically affects your royalties and it costs a lot to produce this book in full color. So yeah, I'm going to speed it up a little bit here for this keyword as we've spent some time. But you do want to spend your time looking at each individual book to see if a, book, if a keyword's profitable. Like don't over rely on KDP Rocket, KDP Spy, all that shit. You really want to just take a look at what you're up against and why books sell. You have to understand why the books sell. So why does this book sell here? The Photographer's Guide to Drones when it's not even at the very top of the list, okay? Well, as we've just said, it's the Photographer's Guide and also it's got beautiful, absolutely beautiful content that other books might not feature. So you don't have to be, stop thinking of how to rank your book to the top. Instead, think of how my book can kick ass and have better content than everyone else, along with having reviews and doing all the jazz for promoting it. But if you find a profitable keyword, think of how to produce the best book possible for that keyword and you will make sales. That's how I'm doing it now. You don't want to be the 50th generic guide to some keyword. It's not going to work. You want to be the ass kicker, okay? You want to be the most awesome book with the best sales copy, with the best content, and you can command a higher price. People will buy the book anyway. So yeah, there we go. Then um, I'm starting to fall off here, but the do-it-yourself drones for the evil genius. People who maybe want to build drones, there's probably people in, uh, in, who will find a hobby into like building stuff, such as drones, so this is the guide for that. I guess you gotta be like a electrician nerd or some sort and it does well because hey it's for the evil genius series if you're an evil genius that knows how to construct electronics and drones this is the guide for you so there's a market for that that's why that book does well so let's look at a few more very uh, quickly the handbook of drone photography doesn't do that well but it's it the cover's not beautiful and um it's at the bottom of the page, so it really, it, it, I would say that if it had maybe had a better cover, despite the low price, it, it would probably do better. That's just my speculation. Now, the guide to drone safety, this is probably a crock of shit, but let's just look. Like, who the fuck cares about the drone guide? It's, it's a new book, but who cares, man? Lame. Lame. All right. <laughs> Aerial photography and videography using drones. All right, let's do, check it out. Okay, it does well. Okay, it's 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 obvious. I it's obvious. I don't have to continue on. Um, drones, books, and guides are a profitable keyword. If this is something that you want to venture off into, just remember what I've been saying prior. Content is king. Content is the number one driver that will get you success for this keyword. So that means not only having a long book with just text, but you absolutely need pictures, whether it's a guide for drones in general, pictures of different drones, all the components, 
and everything related to every assembly with drones or if you're doing like the photography guide you need absolutely stunning pictures and photography taken by drones hopefully your own instead of looking on Google for stock photos so yeah uh, so write this down we've already found one good keyword here drone books and guides okay so this video has already achieved its goal we shall go on and uh, we found this keyword at around the 12 minute mark I believe so we found a keyword in 12 minutes I do not lie when I say that we can find keywords in minutes if not sometimes seconds in my course but I promise this would be a promo fee video so I won't get on the hype train with that shit anyway let's move on okay let's take something a little bit more obscure I'm not a medical like uh, expert or anything I have no idea what spinal stenosis is. I know what sclerosis is, and I know what lumbar issues can evolve, but I don't know what stenosis is. Maybe it's a book that doesn't have a lot of uh, a category that wouldn't have a lot of competition for books. Um, again, you don't have to really know much about the subject upon first finding about the keyword. You would want to do your research later, but uh, let's let's, let's uh, look for books related to it. We'll figure out the research later after we assess whether it's a profitable keyword. So right here, this is a new book from May 25th. I'm recording this on June 7th. So this is relatively new, only nine reviews. It sells really well. Um, it is a published book by a real publisher, I assume. And um, it does well with nine reviews, so maybe because the book is new or because it's done by a real supposed medical practitioner this is a good book to look at that being said huge disclaimer if you're giving out medical device uh, advice you always want to advise in your disclaimer section of your book that it's not to be used for treating or diagnosing any medical condition it just serves as a general guide always consult with a professional pro physician regarding your personal uh, ailments so um, and along with that absolutely do not pose as a doctor if you're not a fucking doctor that's just wrong and it's fucked up so um, don't do that so why I'm looking into this keyword kind of um, is ironic but we're just assessing right now what if this is even a profitable keyword and then maybe we can find an ethical angle as to how we can publish for this book, uh, for this keyword. So let's just take a quick look. It does okay. Uh, I'm doing a quick scan here. This one, I'm simply looking at rankings. It does okay. <laughs> and uh, I will, yeah. There's not a whole lot of, not a whole lot of books specific only to stenosis. So, this could have some potential. Yeah. So let me slow it down. Um, going back to the second book. Is this a real doctor? Seems maybe like it. I'm just going to do a quick scan through the content. Yeah. This is probably a real doctor. Okay, so this is a profitable keyword. If you were to publish in it, should you publish in it? That's debatable. Um, I would never try to make a formal medical book that posing as a doctor and try to promote it. I mean, you're selling to real people here. It's not just about the money. So, yeah, this is a profitable keyword, but whether you should touch it or not, that's up to you. But keep this in mind. Spinal stenosis books is profitable. Not a whole lot of competition. The existing competition does have good content. However, it's not extremely well promoted so if you wanted to market to publish a book for it the way to beat these books is to out market them and have good content maybe if you can somehow find just somehow find a licensed physician or doctor on maybe upwork and try to get written content from them about stenosis although i can see that being very expensive already that is how i suppose you could ethically put out a book on this topic but I must, I must digress. Let's keep going. 
So, do, 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 do. oh, we don't want to touch that. <laughs> okay, okay. What else can we do here in the time span that we have? I think we're going to look at another category pretty soon. So, I mean, it all has potential, but anything that pops out immediately, I don't know. I'm not feeling it. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Not getting any ideas off of here. Oh, let's look up let's look up canine influenza just for the hell of it. So this is gonna be about pets, dogs, canines. It, let's see if there's such a thing as canine influenza books. Maybe how to treat it. No, nah, well there's one, of course. Someone had to do it. It probably doesn't sell. Yeah, it doesn't sell. How I how I know it doesn't sell, it doesn't even have a sales ranking. So we'll leave the, that was probably a horrible idea to look it up. But that's the reality of looking up keywords. It's hit or, it's going to be a lot of misses. And you'll find one piece of gold. And um, it's just a repetitive process, but it pays off. Definitely pays off uh, if you put the time into it. So this is just using Google Trends, by the way. I haven't even shown other methods of how I look up keywords. I might switch off to that. Yeah, let's switch off. So let's go back a little bit. Hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Something ain't right. Why are we finding keywords off of only Google Trends? Let's try to find keywords using another method here. Okay, so let's look up, <laughs> so let's, look, let's get ideas from other book publishers. So for the complete guide to drones, let's look at the sponsored products related to this item just for the hell of it. Even though these books probably have nothing to do with drones, we can brainstorm and get ideas. So, uh, street photography. All right. Maybe if you're a photography guru or a photography hobbyist, you're just compelled to learn how to produce a book of photography, we can find something for you. Let's just assess if maybe street photography books are a profitable keyword. So, of course, we just first assess the profitability of a book before researching and learning more about the niche or subject. So, assess profitability first, research later. Okay? You don't want to spend your time researching all about a topic, just kind of hoping that it's profitable. You want to do your market research before venturing into spending more time into the topic. It's very, very noteworthy to say that right now. So this book does okay. Um, whether there's other books that really are compelling enough to sell enough copies to publish for this keyword, this one does better. It's gonna probably be uh, 300,000 or 600,000. Good enough, fair enough. All right, let's see here. This one does really well. This one's done by an actual street photographer. I suppose does very well holy shit <laughs> all right with a lot of reviews yeah okay so without spending more time I would say for this niche um, you, if you have to be an actual street photographer you need to have a passion for publishing for this keyword you can defy the rules with assessing the profitability of a keyword if your content is obviously top tier, top notch, like if you were one of the best street photographers in the world with your best content and you put it in a book, despite the books not really being all that great and uh, some having already a lot of reviews, you could still do well because I would imagine that someone buying just this book on street photography might be interested in owning other street photography books. Maybe they have a collection of street photography books. So something to just be cognizant of. Always think of why your book will do well and why it could do well in spite of everything you see related to um, assessing how profitable a keyword is. So this one, you have to be a top street boss of photography to really break in. Because otherwise, if you have some half-assed book you set up by buying photos on Upwork and then 
hiring a book a writing company to set up the the text uh, it's not gonna fly it's not gonna do well so with that being said let's keep looking uh, let's get more ideas here um, why are we still looking to photography so let's let's back up Okay, recommended for me in Kindle books. This is not going to really go anywhere, but uh, I'm just looking for the hell of it anyway. All right. So, uh, kind of out of ideas here. Do I want to go back to Google Trends? No, not really. Hey, remember that time I talked about Fortnite? Even though it's probably a horrible idea to publish a book for it right now. Let's just look at one of the guides. And uh, while we're looking at one of the guides, let's see what customers are buying and what else is related to this book. All right. Um, one of these are my books, so I will fuck off and get away from that. <laughs> All right, so let's back up. Let's look at, oh, that's a fiction book. Okay, here we go. So, what I'm doing, I we were looking at a Fortnite book just for entertainment, and I was looking at sponsored products related to this item for book ideas. And right here, here's an interesting one: Word by Word Readers, a children's guide, a children, a child's introduction to reading. Wow, maybe I need this book. <laughs> okay, it's got a Bernstein bear or some shit on it. I don't know, but. Uh, Let's take a look here. It might not be profitable, but we're just getting ideas. Nah, it's not profitable. Let's look at the level three. It may it might have been profitable at one point of time. Nah, not maybe no. The covers look all fucking weird. All right, let's get other ideas. Do do do. Looking at sponsored products related to the child's guide here. So, how about silly jokes for silly kids, children's joke books, even though it's got a shitload of reviews. Let's look at it anyway. This is number one bestseller. All right. Yeah, this is, this is bananas. It does, it's a killer. So let's look at joke books for kids. And let's do a subset of it. Since it looks already very competitive, let's look at joke books for kids ages five through seven to get even really specific. All right, so we have the bestseller. We have the Scholastic book. We have a book with 4,000 reviews. We've got National Geographic. Okay, now let's think why we would not publish for this keyword. I'll let you think about it. Do 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 okay enough time so these books have a shitload of reviews made by big time publishers you're never going to be able to compete against scholastic or national geographic these books are already selling extremely well sales dictate first and foremost how a book ranks on amazon you have no chance and producing a joke book for kids as a self-published author. No chance. So forget dreaming about be about publishing a picture of a monkey, making funny jokes. It's not happening. Not happening. So we already figured out very quickly that's not gonna happen. But this is the actual process that it takes for keywords. Let's look at one more. Uh, let's just go back. Let's look at, let's be really random. How can we be really random? Let's look at let's look at fake news off uh, CNN.com, and then maybe get an idea of what else we can look for. Um, how about an Uber guide? I don't know if Uber is a copyrighted term for books, but let's just play along. Let's just see here. Um, Uber book. I don't know. The route. Okay, okay. Let's back up. Let's let's get into a non copyright non copyrighted uh, keyword. Rideshare guides. Maybe there's like rideshare guides for different countries or here how an income tax guide for rideshare drivers. Something that could be useful to some people who drive Uber and Lyft. Let's look at the, the first one here. 
V rideshare guide from April 2018. I would imagine it doesn't do extremely well. Maybe it does okay. I'm going to guess 600,000 on the rankings. I'm probably wrong. Ah! It does really well. It does really well. Fuck. <laughs> so it has a ranking of 38,000. It does really well. Um, it looks like it's not a self-published book, as I first thought. Shit, it's got reviews from like people from Uber and Lyft, man. All right, so this is the king of the rideshare guides. That's the book to beat. Only having 32 reviews, though. I guess, well, let's see if you can just hang with that one. So we're looking at this one, 480,000. It's a self-published book. It's a shithole 54-page book from 2017. You could, you could hang against this book as so long as the others aren't that strong. Um, but they do sell moderately well, so there's that shows that there's signs of life on this planet known as rideshare guides. This one doesn't do well, though. It's just about taxes, so maybe no one wants to really get tax advice from this book. Let's look at this. Nah, this one's just a Kindle version. It it looks half-assed. Yeah, it's not a whole lot of rideshare books. Everybody loves Uber. I like the cover here. Um, pops out at me. So let's see how this book does. Doesn't do that well. Shit, man. <laughs> I don't know. This doesn't look like a great keyword after all. So, unless you're this author, or maybe you have a guide that maximizes your earnings as an Uber or Lyft driver, and you can take this spot, you could do well for this keyword, despite contrary evidence. You could sell a few copies making a rideshare guide. Um, if you wanted to, you could also set up an AMS campaign, an Amazon Marketing Services campaign, it's essentially a pay-per-click campaign that you can run to have a sponsored listing that comes up as first for a keyword. So you could set that up on top of here and have people look at your book ahead of this one and this one. So it's been 30, almost 33 minutes, guys. I hope this video was of some help to you. Again, we did find one really good keyword that everyone has access to publishing on. So if you want to study that more, you can either rewind or do your own research. Um, let me know if this video really helped you. Comment below. Likewise, if you have any questions, please leave them and I will get back to you. I'll get it to back to every single question. Uh, otherwise, hit on the bell, subscribe, like, and I'll see you later. Thank you.